What's going on, guys? I know it's been a few days since I've put a blog post up. Uh, long Memorial Day weekend. And let's be honest, uh, it was not relaxing. I felt like I was uh, going uh, sun up to sun down all three days. And then uh, the last two days had a couple of job interviews, uh, hoping to find some gainful employment. So I have been a little behind. And since I'm trying to start this up, I'd like to post almost every day. But, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. So what I've got for you today, I have five mail days, uh, two boxes, three envelopes. Um, shouldn't take too awfully long. Um, just to go through and kind of take a look at. And I appreciate any comments you got. Uh, throwing them into the comments below on what you see. So what you see first is a large flat rate box so i already know what's in here but hey let's open this bad boy up because i guess i do have a little bit of a bonus in here uh to fill it out to make everything fit the way that he wanted Pick these up. I saw on Twitter. You can follow me there at Beans B Card Blog. But someone that I interact with, and I think I've done a trade or two with, or I bought from, or he sent me something, something to that effect. He had mentioned that he had uh, gotten some boxes from a local shop. So I said, you know, where, why, what's going on, and he uh, sent me that way. Found him on Facebook. So on top we've got the gentleman's business card. So you can see Busted Wax in Normal, Illinois. Uh, I got a hold of him through Facebook and picked up a few wax boxes, a few junk wax. These were actually a 5 for 20 special. Um, the Twitter On Twitter, I had seen that he had bought some 91 tops, which is something I'm acquiring. I'm not... Uh, I'm not opening it yet, but I've just acquired it in bulk when I can, so that was why. Unfortunately, he only had one box, but we do have one box of 1991 tops. My goal someday is to start opening this stuff, and I want to put together, you know, just have fun with it, put together a complete master set. Glowbacks versus non-glowbacks versus different print sheets on them, and... That's kind of what I want to do with that, and that's why I keep acquiring them. I've got, I think, a couple of factory sets, a, a couple of boxes, uh, just kind of sitting on my uh, card rack. So since he only had one of those, and I did want to get it, this is another set from my childhood that I've been wanting to put together. Yeah, it's Junk Wax. It's 1998 score. I know everybody loves 89 Upper Deck and they changed the hobby, but you know what? Score is kind of forgotten in my opinion. I hate that people don't re you know don't acknowledge that they were the first ones to do the uh, full color backs first. They did that a year before. Uh, did that a year before Upper Deck did? I get it. Upper Deck has the Griffey. It's the legendary set, but 1988 score. Uh, like I said, I loved those as a kid. Never put a set together, so I've got three boxes. Ideally, I should be able to put a set together out of that. So, the last box I bought in my 5 for 20 deal, he had to break this apart. He couldn't actually get the box into this to make it happen. So, he took the, he took the packs out, but what it was is 1995 bazooka baseball it was the only mid-90s thing that he really had so i figured i'd give it a whirl because it would be some different stuff it would just be a a fun a fun thing to go through so probably not going to eat that 20 chew that 23 year old gum but you know going to get five cards per pack on that i just like i said thought it'd be something a little different so then he said to fill in the space he was going to throw a few extra packs in so what it appears to be here are four extra packs of 88 score. And then everybody's favorite set, 1990 Donruss Baseball. 
Looks like two, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve packs of that. So some point down the road, I'll open that up. Uh, open that up on camera, just you know, for fun for those of us junk wax kids. So that's the first package. Again, those will all get open up, opened up down the road. Second is a 200 count box. Um, it took me a minute. I couldn't figure out quite what it was. I was like, what did I order? What would come in a box? Well, this seller, I had paid him on a Tuesday and he said he was going out of town on Wednesday. So I didn't expect to actually get them late last week. I thought they probably wouldn't ship until sometime this week. So we're not going to get into, I'm not going to go through every card in here, but what this turns out to be, if you saw my last blog post from last week, this turns out to be almost 200 buyback cards. Uh, mostly the Rediscover Tops from last year, a few of the Bowman buybacks, um, and it looks like he threw some other randoms in here just to kind of cover. So let's take a look at them. One of these is a Rediscover Tops of Jed Jerko, who is actually from my hometown. So I picked this one up. Everything in here I picked up specifically. It was either because of the set it was from, the player it was, there was something, there was some kind of meaning on every one I picked up, or it was just older. I think I picked up every one that was 72 and older, uh, but a lot of these two are for other bloggers out there, so that's why I don't want to go through and show everything. I don't want to show what I have and what other, pe other bloggers are going to be getting down the road, but yeah, about 200 of them. Again, a lot of them for me, uh, if they don't go in my set, they'll go into my personal collection. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the buybacks, but one man's junk is another man's treasure, and buybacks are a great example of that. So we got three envelopes most of the way through this, because obviously the envelopes won't take very long. Very first, just a bubble mailer. Let's see what we got going on here. I actually already know what's in there from the seller's name. Pick this up off of Sport Lots. Um, not a big baseball fan anymore, um, but I was a huge fan in the 80s and 90s, and the Indians were my team in the 90s before they got good. So I picked this Carlos Baerga Leaf Signature Series up. Just as something to, you know, throw in a binder just to have. Uh, I know he's got some current autographs, but I like the playing day autographs better. Paid, uh, I think the cost was 99 cents, maybe a quarter. Maybe it was even a quarter on this. Seller charged $4 shipping, which is a little ridiculous, but I know on Sport Lots that's how they kind of add into the cost and um, or add into what they make. And the cheapest one I saw on Com C was six bucks. So I mean, I still paid less than Com C price for that. So no real complaints. Uh, this one here we got. This was the this was weird. I he's got the window envelope. Um, I haven't seen a. I don't know that I've ever received something that like wasn't from a business in that kind of. In this kind of envelope is different, but you know, what are you gonna do? This is a trade from Trading Card Database. Uh, it was a two for two trade. I traded away a couple of spare 2001 Topps Heritage short prints I had. Um, almost didn't do the trade because I thought I, but ended up saying, ah, what the hell? Let's just, what the heck? Let's just do it. So what I ended up getting here was for the a couple of the 19 or the 2017 87 tops cards and man he put two of these into he put two of these into a very small semi rigid I don't mind semi rigids I like them I ship in them but man this is a tight fit all right so finally got them out so. Um, it was just going to be a two for two trade. So I picked, uh, I asked for the Mookie bets. Obviously he's hot. So I figured it'd be just a way to go ahead and get that, get that one out of the way, not have to overpay later. And then 
also a Randy Johnson, and there go my dogs. Apparently the stepson is home. I did not know he was coming home so early. So, little surprises. So one last envelope. This is also a trade -a card dating base trade. I love blue tape, but man, he put a lot of blue tape on this. This was actually uh, a trading partner that I've had before. Um, he came into some more buybacks and asked if I was interested, and yes, I was. He collects the mini cards, like from Ginter and all that. I actually picked up some in Birmingham. I picked up a lot of them uh, when I was over there in February, knowing that he'd be interested and be able to make some trades someday. So I think there's seven here, is what it comes to. So we got seven buybacks. We got a 1987 Topps Shane Raleigh. A 1986 Topps Phil Necro Record Breakers, 1987 Topps Andres Thomas, 87 Topps McGuire. If you read my blog, Beans Ball, or no, this was actually on I Feel Like a Collector Again. Blogspot.com. I actually picked up one of those a few weeks ago and never thought I'd have one and. Somehow now I've come into two of those. Um, that's just one of those cards. This was the first year I collected, and they're kind of, you know, definitely has a, I'm ec ecstatic to have two of those. So we have an 89 Tops Moose Stubing, Stubbing, Jose Guzman, who still lives here apparently in the Arlington area. He was signing autographs about a year and a half ago at an event where they were set up you know, trying to rally to get a Rangers new stadium. Tony Fossus, 1990 tops. Got an older one. What is that? 74, I believe. Mike Caldwell. Don't know who he is, but it's a 70s, so I'm not going to complain. Ivan Zwieg, 91 tops traded. Bobby Mitchell. Of the Twins, 1984 tops, not to be confused with Bobby Mitchell of the Cleveland Browns. And the last one, an 86 tops Ed Vandenberg. 86 tops always has a uh, special place in my heart because that's the first, the first cards I owned were for Christmas 86. My uncle that got me into card collecting sent me a hand collated 86 tops set. Unfortunately, lost that in a fire at my dad's house about four years ago. Uh, but I've since bought a few boxes, put it back together, put a set together. So I have it. It's not the same one, but, you know, set's still always going to hold a special place in my heart. So I'm going to wrap this up. Like I said, uh, just five trades. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any comments below. Find me uh, on my websites, either at beansballcardblog.com. I plan to start posting a bit more on there. If you're interested more in my personal collection, it's the I feel like a collector again dot blogspot dot com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Beans B Card Blog, and I'm also on Facebook. You can just search Beans Ball Card Blog, and you should find me there. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Happy collecting.